Hi, my name is Dan Fleming. I live in Lake City, Florida. I have a website called dansmark.com. That's D-A-N-S-M-A-R-K.com. I wanted to show you a demo of a drawing conversion service that I have. This service converts AutoCAD drawings into AutoLisp code. Now people that use AutoCAD and AutoLisp know what I'm talking about. I want to just show you how fast this thing actually works, how well it works. Uh, there's six different options of the draw to lisp service. This is option number one, which is an unstructured automatic conversion. In other words, I'm going to select all these entities and convert those straight into auto lisp code. For more information on the other options, go to my website at dansmark.com. You can also email me dan at dansmark.com. We're going to make new code. We're going to do it automatic. We could do it manually, pick each each uh, entity in the drawing. Also, doing it automatically, we can pick each entity in the drawing. Or we can pick sets of entities in the drawing using automatic. Manual, you have to pick each, pick each entity individually. We're not going to put text at the start of every entity. In other words, it puts a little bitty text, piece of uh, text at the start of every entity. And they're color coded and they match the drawing code because just particular th uh, this particular drawing may have several thousand lines of code in it. And to find which set of code controls which entity is useful to have that option available. So we're going to do it without text entities. The function name is going to be stair1. The function number is going to be 1. Unstructured, we're just going to go ahead and pick the whole stair. So there's 762 entities. And we're going to say OK, and now it has converted all those entities into auto list code. We're going to flip over and we're going to format what we just done. Notice it's named stair1-1. As soon as it gets through formatting, we're going to save. We're going to jump to the end and there's 9,318 lines of code. We're going to load this back into our drawing. And 9,318 lines of code takes for a minute to load back into AutoCAD. We're going to erase the previous objects that we drew. We're going to paste our code back in. You know, we could put a, a C colon in front of it and have a command line without the parentheses if we wanted. But we're going to go ahead and draw our code. It captures each one of the variables and AutoCAD and gives that variable a name like LVAR0, LVAR1, LVAR2, LVAR3, so on and so forth. It captures all the variables and those correspond to the code. Change the variable and you change the size of that entity that it's controlling. L are for lines, arcs are for, uh, A's for arcs, um, text basically you change the text height where it's at or it comes in just the way it is or you can add a scale factor to it. 
Uh, it's a pretty good base code program to start building a stair program from. In other words, this is just a general overall skeleton code creator. It converts a drawing into AutoLisp code. You add a little bit of meat to the bones and you can build a very complex stair program. More information, contact Dan at dansmart.com. Thanks.